We are continuing our coverage on the deadly plane crash out of North Carolina. It happened Saturday evening in the Outer Banks, claiming the lives of five people. Ten on your side's Markeisha Jackson is there with the very latest. Markeisha, what do you got? Yeah, Karina, we just finished a briefing with the NTSB lead investigator on this case, and he shared with us that this plane was on a multi leg flight, most recently leaving from Dare County a short distance. That's when they were supposed to come here and land at the Wright Brothers National Memorial's first flight airport. Instead, the, plash, the plane crashed in a nearby wooded area, killing the five passengers, one of which was a child. A briefing was held by the National Transportation Safety Board as they are the lead investigators into the crash. They've been investigating since noon. According to the NTSB, the plane caught fire post crash. The Kill Devils Hills Fire Department, along with other local fire departments, responded to the scene and extinguished the fire. NTSB investigators say they still have a full investigation ahead with no cause determined for the crash as of yet. A preliminary report will be released in approximately 10 days and a factual report will be released in approximately 9 to 12 months with a probable cause being released shortly after that. Again, the investigation remains ongoing. The identities of those five victims have not been released yet. The NTSB investigator says that will come from the medical examiner's office. I'll have much more tonight on Wavy News 10 and 11. Live in Kill Devil Hills, Markeisha Jackson, 10 on your side.